Officials are puzzled by the illegal protest that shut down the N2 highway in Cape Town this morning. They say they met with residents of an informal settlement in Kailicha soon after they delivered a list of grievances over housing last month. And over a billion rand has been set aside to resettle the community. But residents of the settlement are accusing the province of prioritizing informal dwellings that mushroom during the COVID pandemic. ENCA's Nobesut Hejana reports. The N2 highway from Uwe to Cape Town inbound was brought to a standstill on Thursday morning by protesters from the Taiwan informal settlement. They accused the provincial housing department of concentrating on settlements built during and since the COVID lockdown while they've been sidelined for decades. Taiwan has been in existence for 37 years and we've never benefited to any development either from the city of Cape Town or the provincial department. Tumeka Pezi says she arrived here in 1993 when there were only 10 structures. There are now nearly 4,000. She says back in 2018 when Bonginko Simatikizela was an MEC, promises were made to house them. The Western Cape Human Settlements Department admits that there have been delays in relocating people, but says the Taiwan Housing Steering Committee is aware of its plans. That movement plan, it's, we've spent about three months going through it, in detail. They, they have had inputs in that, in that approval. Hence, I'm puzzled by the, the claim or the complaints that they have in terms of the delays. Koboka says it's not true that the province is prioritizing other settlements for relocation and says it's hard to secure other properties because of land grabs. In terms of the land approval, we, from where we are now, we're looking in between three to six months, the worst case scenario. But Generally, within the next three months, we expect a response and approval from the city of Cape Town. And I mean, there the are comments that they brought as early as February, and which we responded to them. Western Cape Police say they are investigating a fatal shooting during the protest, but say the person wasn't shot when officers dispersed.